to meet you too. You're Margaret? Yes. Okay. So, um, you came to see me. Tell me about uh, your weight gain and your history about that. Well, I, I guess it's, it's all been like a gradual thing over a lot of years. I mean, when I was back in school, high school and college, I didn't have a weight problem. I mean, I, I did a lot of team sports and stuff like that. Um, but then after I got out and got married, had a couple kids, um, then, you know, working, then I, I had a, uh, got a divorce five years ago. So with stress and all that stuff, I just kind of, it, it isn't that I, you know, just didn't care about what I ate. It's just I just didn't have time to pay attention to it. So I had to do what was fast, what was convenient, and... Slowly but surely, you know, five pounds at a time. Yeah. So you didn't really, I mean, since you, in college, you were an athlete, you just weren't even used to, you know, getting, you, know, you got your family and then you just lost the time to really, you know, be physically active. Right. And so, you know, then you, of course, then were eating out a lot. So that was mm -hmm. difficult for you. It was very much. Um, so, it sounds like you, um, so what else have you done? Have you, you know, have you changed your lifestyle recently? Or what have you, you know, figured out about your medical history? Um, well, I, I think that what, what brings me in today is that um, I was just diagnosed with prediabetes. So now I know that, you know, I mean, in the past I just, tried to diet just to get into a smaller size or to look better or for an event that was coming up. <clears throat> but now it's it's way more important than that because now my health is at stake. And my father has diabetes. So I've seen some of the terrible things he's gone through and I I really don't want to go there myself if I can avoid it. Right. So you see what your father's gone through and you just don't want to have that happen to you and you, you know that the um, the quick dieting is just is not going to work for this kind of disease. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what what are you afraid of in terms of having diabetes or you know have you seen any have you seen anything that your father had that you know you're really wanting to avoid? Yes. I mean he's um, he's had his leg amputated. Okay. So um, that right there was a real, you know, bad thing. Um, if that happened to me, I wouldn't be able to do my job. So, um, and now um, it's even worse because he's on kidney, kidney dialysis. So maybe three times a week, every other day, he spends a good part of the day in the rehab center with, you know, chemicals going into him and, you know, all that. So. He really can't. <clears throat> I mean, he is retired and so forth. But if that happened to me, it would just destroy my life. And I've got two kids to think about. So, right. So you just think that you would not be able to work anymore. You might have to go on disability if mm -hmm. you know your disease progressed to his his point. Right. And you're really afraid of that because right. you you don't know what you would do, how mm -hmm. you would make a living. Mm -hmm. With your, you know, your husband, or well, your ex-husband now. Mm -hmm. uh, you, so you really have to keep, 
your finances, you know, the way they are, you can't afford to lose your job That's right. due to your health. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so tell me about some things that you've done recently or what have you heard about um, diabetes in your treatment? Well, the, the things I heard scared me because it's kind of almost like a continuing chemistry experiment because you have to keep your levels at a certain level and if you have to take medication you have to eat but you can't eat too much and you've got to eat the right combinations of things and it just sounds like an overwhelming way to have to live. Right. So the way the information was presented to you seems almost unbearable to even, you know, do yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Overwhelming in that my life is so busy and crazy anyway. I just can't imagine having that on top of it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So have you started doing any of those things? Or have you, you know, are you checking your sugar regularly? Are you taking medications? And what have you? I'm not doing any of that yet because okay. I'm just, I consider pre-diabetes. Right. So right. Okay. they just, you know, wanted to let me know what I'm up against. And the main thing is you've got to redo your eating habits and lose weight. Okay. And that part scares me because I've been such a failure at that my whole life, losing weight. And do you consider uh, that you were a failure in college in terms of losing weight? No, because I really didn't need to. No, because I really didn't need to. Okay. I mean, I, I was a, a decent size, you know, and, and I was active and I could do the things I wanted to do. And I really wasn't considered overweight okay. like I am now. So you just, the task of losing weight just seems very overwhelming to you. Like, it's, mm -hmm. since it's something that you've never done before, you don't feel like you have that much confidence to do it right. this time. And I have actually done it before. It's just okay. that I've done it with fad diets. Okay. So you lose weight fast and yeah. you feel good fast and then it comes right back on. Yeah. Right. So it's not something that's permanent and that's disappointing. Right. So you just don't know how to lose the weight and keep it off and do it without the use of a fad diet. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, so... Is do you have so do you have a support system at home that you might be worried about? Um, you need something or from your family or what? Do you, what's the situation with that? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> my support system would be mainly my kids. Okay. And you know, we go out to eat almost every night, and they love that. Uh -huh. If I tell them suddenly we're not going to go out to eat, we're going to cook. I might get some pushback. <laughs> I'm sure I will because, you know, they love to one night go out for pizza, the next night Chinese food, the next night, you know, Mexican food. They love all of those things. Okay. And, and I do too, but they're probably not the best choices if you're trying to lose weight. Right. So your, your kids then are somewhat of a barrier to you to losing weight and dealing and treating with your, your pre-diabetes mm -hmm. because... They want to encourage you to go out to eat all the time, and they have this sort of expectation. Mm -hmm. And you're a little afraid that this could get in the way of you being successful with this. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so um, you are concerned about losing weight. You, you know, we've covered the fact that you know we have one barrier definitely is your family eating out all the mm -hmm. time. And you are not sure whether you can lose weight because you haven't been successful in the past only with fad diets. Mm -hmm. um, and you're afraid because of your father's situation that you might end up like him. So you actually do think this is a very serious you know, medical issue to address early. And you're hopeful that that can you know, work out. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Um, on, I want to ask you a question. Um, how important is, you, is it that you lose, you know, I don't know, maybe 15 pounds in the next two months or something on a 
from zero to 10, zero being not at all important and 10 being very important? Um, well, I, I think it's important. I'm not sure of the exact amount of weight I should lose. Okay. I think they told me it'd be 35 pounds or something. Okay. But anyhow, I think it's really important. I think um, an eight, a okay. or an eight at least. Right. Important. Yeah. All right. So you're taking this very seriously then. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. Um, how confident are you that you are going to be able to do this? Well, from well, zero to ten. <laughs> That's a different story. I mean, <clears throat> just based on my track record from the past, I'd say two or three. Okay. So you're not, a, so why aren't you, so you said based on your track record, you're two or three. So mm -hmm. what could make you more confident? Why couldn't you, could you be, you know, a five or a six? What do you think would help with that? Um, oh my, it's, I guess um, if I could figure out a way to cook at home quickly. I mean, okay. you know, most stuff takes, you know, a half hour, an hour, a couple of hours, mm -hmm. and prep time, and, right. you know, cutting vegetables. I don't have time for all that. If I could figure out a way to do that in half an hour, mm -hmm. 15 minutes, right. or if I knew for sure that my kids would be excited about okay. eating healthier right. and, and wanting to, you know, get into this with me. Right. My daughter is kind of worried about her weight. Okay. So I'm, you know, I want her to learn how to manage her weight healthy right. and right. not, you know, get an eating disorder or anything. But if we could do it together, that would bring my confidence up a little bit. Okay. If I knew they would be supportive. Uh -huh. um, if I knew there were healthy food tastes good, I mean, <laughs> let's face it, the junk tastes good and it's fun to eat and sometimes you get so tired of salads and things that you know are good for you. Right. <laughs> that you don't want to eat that all the time. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. yeah. So you're thinking that if you got your daughter on board, if she can come to accept this, maybe talk to her. I see what she's thinking, mm -hmm. and, and that that could be a solution, mm -hmm. part of the solution. Yeah. Okay. And why weren't you lower on the scale? Why? I, do you I guess because I know I can lose weight based on the fad diets I was on. Right. I, I've lost 15 pounds in a month, wow. but then I gained back 20 right. when I went off the fad diet. So I know that physically it's possible. It's just Finding the right way to do it. Right. You need something that's sustainable for your lifestyle and, yeah, for your body. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <coughs> I am wondering how, uh, how, okay, on this list of values, mm -hmm. which are the most important to you? Oh. Um. Four of them. Okay. Horrible? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, being a good parent would be the first one. Okay. Um, I would say competent would be another one. Um, um, definitely not hypocritical. I guess maybe in control would okay. be one. Okay. All right. So you're afraid potentially that you're not. I mean, you said that you had, were able to lose the weight before, which is why you had a, you know, a higher score than zero yeah. on the confidence rating. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're afraid, though, like you value competence. How does mm -hmm. that relate to your confidence and, you know, you or you feel competent to lose the weight? Is that you know? Well, I, I would think of somebody that's competent as somebody that sets a goal and achieves it and okay. can stick with it. So yeah. like, I would be competent if I could say to myself, you know, I don't want to get diabetes because I want to stay healthy for right. myself and my kids. So when I see them eating ice cream and cookies at night yeah. while they're watching TV, I'm not going to eat those. Right. That, that is so hard. So, you know, if I could actually achieve that or say to myself, you know, no matter whether they like it or not, we're going to 
you know, eat healthy things at home, right? you know, for dinner at night. Um, and, and eventually that might lead to my weight loss. And then if I could lose the weight I need to lose and keep it off, that would be confidence. Okay. And what about, um, okay, so you believe that your children are an integral part of this mm -hmm. and that they are like the barriers because you see them eating the something mm -hmm. and then you want to eat yeah. that also. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you also said in control. So mm -hmm. you want to be, how does that relate to your? Well, it's like sometimes, yeah, it's like food cravings. You okay. Know, you get a food craving, like you're craving ice cream and cookies, or you're craving popcorn, or you're craving pizza. I got to have it. Right. It's just right. like an addiction sometimes. Uh -huh. If I could just say, you know, that's, no, I don't want that. I'd rather have a salad. Uh -huh. I'd rather have, you know, some vegetables or carrot sticks or something right. like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. So you mentioned that um, your children are a possible way to help you, mm -hmm. you know, treat and you know get lose the weight too mm -hmm. are there any other things that you can think of oh and you said also um eating out less maybe and cooking at home mm -hmm. do you have any other ideas as to you know what you could possibly do i don't know i mean other than just you know try to get information about you know the um nutrition content at some of these restaurants i go to so that maybe when I am there, I can make a better choice. Okay, so you're saying ask for the nutrition labels, yeah. basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you Sometimes seen? Sometimes I have to read labels. Right. Do you, have you seen the Weight Watchers labels at some of the restaurants? I have. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. You think that could be kind of thing. helpful to you? I think so. Once I learn about it, and know, you know, how to, right. how to use it. So have you thought about a program, maybe, that you might want to use? Or you said mostly you just want to know about the nutrition labeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, I like Weight Watchers. I did go there, you know, after my son was born, and I lost okay. 10 pounds. And it, it was fun because you had the support, but it was also a lot of work because you had to go to the meetings. I had to find time for that. Sometimes okay. I would miss my meetings. You also had to weigh and measure all your food and keep a diary and all that. Okay. Which, was really good to be successful, but it was a lot of work, and sometimes I just fell behind in that. Okay, so you're thinking this time you need the support system, but it needs to be your family, not outside of that. So you're thinking you um, you need to talk to your family, right? Mm -hmm. um, and tell them what your goal is. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think you want to do in the next, you know, do you want to have a goal that you set, a specific weight goal, or... Or maybe, you know, eating out a little less than what you normally do? Or yeah. Well, um, probably if I were to set a goal for, say, this week, yeah. I would say I want to sit down and talk to my kids. Okay. And let's just have a talk about, because their medical history is the same as mine. Right. So, you know, what we can do about it. And, uh see what their interest is in cooking and helping me cook and learning about cooking and collecting right. cookbooks and maybe pick up some brochures from these restaurants that I'm at. Right. What, what, what you think I can, that's can be. Yeah. And healthy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to kind of whittle down the stuff I can, the easy stuff like pop. Okay. You know, switching that out for something. So you know that pop is definitely not helping your weight issues. Okay. Right. I know I drink a lot of my calories, fruit juices, okay. uh, things like that, iced tea with sugar, lemonade, things like that. Okay. So trying to find healthier alternatives to those types of things. Okay. You know, get rid of the easy stuff first and then tackle the hard stuff. Right, right. So you're thinking take one step at a time, you know, talk to your family this week, and then consider, you know, reducing your intake of fruit juices or pop or finding something else that will satisfy that sugar craving that's healthier. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And just, you know, start collecting cookbooks and looking mm -hmm. for recipes that you might be interested in trying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I make a fun project out of it. If it's fun, maybe it won't be so hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, I guess to summarize, you um, you feel like your weight has been a challenge through your life, um, but you've successfully lost it through fad diets. Um, you feel like your family is a potential barrier, and you think that time is up to get feedback. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs>